There are three phases in the life of a living organism. Juvenile, reproductive and senescence. During the reproductive phase, organisms give birth to offspring. Interestingly, most organisms display certain morphological and physiological changes during the reproductive phase. Human females, for instance, experience the menstrual cycle, which is defined as cyclical changes in the genital system during the reproductive phase. Incidentally, a woman experiences her first menstrual cycle, called the menarche, at the onset of puberty, usually between the ages of 9 and 12. Occurring approximately every 28 days, a single menstrual cycle consists of four phases. Menstrual phase, follicular or proliferative phase, ovulatory phase, and lastly, the luteal or secretory phase. Each phase of the menstrual cycle is marked by simultaneous changes in the uterus, ovary, and the secretion of hormones. For instance, during the menstrual phase, the endometrial lining of the uterus and its blood vessels break down and mix with blood, mucus, and other cell debris to form menses. The menses are discharged through the vagina as menstruation or menstrual flow, which lasts for three to five days from the beginning of the menstrual cycle. Interestingly, the absence of menstruation indicates pregnancy or ovarian disorders such as polycystic ovarian disorder or even factors such as stress and ill health. The menstrual phase is followed by the follicular phase, which occurs between days 6 and 14 of the menstrual cycle. During this phase, the primary follicle in the ovary matures into a graphian follicle. Simultaneously, the endometrium undergoes proliferation, a process of regeneration which results in the formation of a new, thick endometrium. The follicular phase is followed by the ovulatory phase, which occurs during the middle of each menstrual cycle. During this phase, the graphian follicle ruptures to release an ovum or egg cell into the pelvic cavity in a process called ovulation. The ovulatory phase is succeeded by the luteal or secretory phase, the last phase of the menstrual cycle, which occurs between days 16 and 28 of the menstrual cycle. This phase sees the transformation of the remaining graphian follicle into a yellow mass called the corpus luteum. The endometrium too thickens and its blood vessels become coiled and enlarged. Interestingly, the endometrium and corpus luteum play a vital role during the early stages of conception. For instance, a fertilized egg gets embedded in the endometrium and derives nourishment from it. The corpus luteum, on the other hand, starts secreting progesterone that helps maintain the endometrium and encourages the growth of the developing embryo. Conversely, in the absence of fertilization, the corpus luteum degenerates and triggers the breakdown of the endometrium. This marks the start of menstruation and the beginning of a new menstrual cycle. Did you know that the phases of the menstrual cycle are controlled by the interplay of different hormones secreted by the ovary and the pituitary gland? At the onset of menses,
The anterior pituitary gland increases the secretion of the two gonadotropic hormones, luteinizing hormone or LH and follicle stimulating hormone or FSH that simulate the development of primary follicles. However, the amount of estrogen and progesterone released by the ovary during this time is less, which causes the thinning of the endometrium. The release of LH and FSH keeps increasing, and during the follicular stage, these two hormones stimulate the maturation of the primary follicle into the graphene follicle. Moreover, LH and FSH stimulate the maturing follicles to release estrogen, a hormone that helps in the proliferation of the endometrium. The increased levels of estrogen, in turn, cause the anterior pituitary gland to release a surge of LH and FSH, so much so that by the ovulation stage, the levels of FSH and LH in the blood are at their peak. This LH surge causes ovulation by rupturing the graphian follicle and turning the follicle's remnants into the corpus luteum. The estrogen level in the body too reaches its peak and we see a gradual thickening of the endometrium. However, once the corpus luteum begins secreting large amounts of progesterone, an FSH and LH inhibiting hormone, the levels of both these hormones drop, which in turn also lowers the levels of estrogen in the body. However, the endometrium continues to thicken because of an increase in the level of progesterone. Incidentally, the corpus luteum will keep secreting progesterone if a fertilized egg gets embedded in the endometrium. However, in the absence of a fertilized egg, the corpus luteum stops releasing progesterone and degenerates. A drop in the level of progesterone, in turn, triggers menstruation as well as the restart of the release of LH and FSH by the pituitary gland. Menstrual cycles normally stop once a woman reaches her 50s. This phase is called menopause. The menstrual cycle is an important process in a woman's body and it consists of four phases which are controlled by hormones released by the ovary and the pituitary gland.